Charles Insomnia from BlenderTech.com here. A recent addition to Blender and Maya for that matter, uh, I think Modo actually had it first maybe, was the open subdiv uh, library of algorithms for 3D mesh subdivision. A lot of people have been asking on forums, however, when should they use it and is it any better than the 45 year old Catmull Clark algorithm most 3D programs including Blender have been using for ages now. I'm going to show you, uh, not exactly, but basically where each one is better and how to use Open Subdiv if you're not already aware. So open Blender up, remember, create your way and let's get to it. Um, open Subdiv is a code library that's open source, so now anybody can download and make edits to it directly from GitHub. It was developed by Pixar, so not only is it faster, but it allows an artist to use less polygons overall to achieve the same result. Now, not automatically, but um, when you go back and read to apologize. However, it comes with some pitfalls. It was developed mostly for characters, in particular, toon style characters. So, organic meshes more so than hard surface. I'm going to exemplify this. So I've imported a stock make human uh, base mesh character, which we know has great topology that's been developed over uh, 15, 16 years now uh, with Blender in mind. And uh, also just this totally random uh, boxy shape with some inset faces, some extrusions, some scalings, just a weird random shape. Um, so to use open subdiv, you can see when you add a subdivision modifier, there is now a checkbox that you can turn it on or off to use it or not. Um, just make sure in file user preferences under system that under open subdiv compute, you have something selected other than none. Otherwise it will not work. Um, your CPU is going to be the slowest. Um, you'll want something GSL to be the fastest. So um, just make sure that is set if it's not already. 2.75 it was kind of depending on um, what computer you were using but in 2.76 it's uh, fully integrated as far as I know and works quite well. So let's uh, take a look at the characters. So it is smooth shaded not flat shaded because I want to show off the highlights in particular. So you'll notice we have this uh, this character which is made up of 26,000 tries so polys and they're all quads um, it's very realistic from a distance it's uh, extremely realistic and you wouldn't notice any imperfections uh, from up close though however we can examine the highlights and shading that comes in the uh, viewport uh, based on the mesh and uh, based on the topology. Now this is just the base mesh. If we enable a subdivision with the Catmull Clark algorithm at level 1 you'll notice that it makes everything much smoother. It looks a little bit more realistic and you'll notice that the shadows and highlights are much more defined, especially especially the specular highlights. If we focus in on the abdomen here, you'll notice these highlights, these three highlights on the pectoral and in the abdomen and groin, um, go from very blocky and um, pixelated almost to very crisp, clean ones. And if we go to a second level, they become almost rendered looking and very smooth. If we go up one more level, the change is almost unnoticeable. So if we stick on render level one, where we see the greatest difference from there, from there to there, so it really cleans up the highlights. Um, it also does, of course, quadruple the try count like this. But if we check off use open subdiv, you'll notice there is a difference and of course if you think it's better or worse is up to you however I find it makes some major differences so under um, under one level of open subdiv you'll notice we get that these nice highlights that um, in my opinion look very similar to a second level of Catmull Clark and a second level of open subdiv is pretty much just as clean as level one 
so that's where it can be um more more um efficient so basically um if we were to use catmull clark at level two we would have 420,000 tries so we can get a similar look by using one level of level of open subdiv which gives us uh, the 107,000 tries um, you'll also notice however it makes things look a little more uh, smoothed out and it, I feel it gives it the toony the cartoony kind of look so you can see the shading here is quite flat um, the specular highlights are still quite good um, and you're going to notice this more on places in the body like the arms and not so much the face. You'll see there's there's hardly any differences in the face. But on the arms and hands, you'll notice it it almost um, removes detail, but in a good way because it smooths everything out. And so with proper topology, it's going to make your characters look a lot better. You can notice in the armpits here where it's... Um, tough to get a nice smooth curve you can see that it really has a nice effect on the shading as well as the general um, flow of the topology now let's take a look at this box shape so it's just a totally random shape um, it is flat shaded however now if we were to uh, enable one level of Catmull Clark. You'll see it does what we have seen for many, many years. It gives us this kind of uh, rounded off idea of it. Now, when we use Open Subdiv, you'll notice that there is almost no difference. A uh, little bit of shading difference, and that's about it. But no real major differences to the um, to the um, the shape or flow of the topology or anything at all and if we go to render level 2 it's the same deal and so on and so forth really no difference um, the only difference you will notice is if we make it smooth shaded um, Catmull Clark at level 2 or level 1 um, doesn't really matter it gives us this nice shape and uh, open subdiv does create a difference. However, in my opinion, I feel it ruins things that are uh, based off of hard surface shapes like this. Um, it gives it a much... It's hard to describe, but I, again, I just kind of relate it and kind of call it and it feels cartoony to me. So, whereas Catmull Clark gives us these uh, smooth yet sharp edges and everything flows well, I find that open subdiv on a shape like this kind of um, brings it back to the hard surface look a little bit. So that is where I find it less than optimal. And when you have something flat shaded, it, as you can see, has almost no difference whatsoever. So if we go back to our base mesh. Um, the flat surface shading is great for looking at the topology flow but you'll see again that open subdiv uh, makes little difference in a flat surface um, shading it's in smooth shading where it really becomes apparent and when you're making a hard surface model obviously um, you're usually um, either going to be flat shading or you're going to be adding an edge split modifier in which case uh, open subdiv just gets all messy with that compared to that doesn't play well with any other modifiers um, so yeah that is basically just how it works how you can make sure it's enabled and how you can use it and just some subtle differences just a quick one so anyways, thanks for watching from the team here at Blender Tech. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We also take donations if you look in the description or on social media on the links on your screen. If you dislike this video for some reason, please tell us so we can improve them based on your community input. So we'll see you next time. Remember, create your way.